I don't know why. I ain't mad at it. I don't ask questions. When they tell me something that's going to be cheaper than what I thought, I just say thank you and I put it in the bag. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. Y'all saw the thumbnail. I went back. <laughs> I actually, yeah, I went back. Although she be small, this bag looks small, she is mighty. We have some good stuff in here and I cannot wait to show you guys what I found at the cosmetics company store this time. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. My videos are mostly beauty content, lots of hauls, tutorials, reviews, you name it, it's here. I also sprinkle in a little bit of fitness, so if you're into that, you're going to love this channel. I won't keep you guys waiting any longer because I am too excited to show you what I picked up at the cosmetics company store, so stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so first real quick, if you're not aware of what this store is, it is basically like an outlet for high-end brands. They don't carry everything, but the main reason I go in there is Tom Ford, La Mer, and every now and then they'll have like some Too Faced stuff. They have a lot of MAC stuff, and it's really, really discounted. The thing is, they don't have everything. They don't have every shade. You can't go in there with something in mind thinking I'm going to the store to buy this. You just have to go see what they have. Some days are a hit, some days are a miss. This is, I think, three trips. I will just go in, walk around. I go straight to Tom Ford, straight to La Mer. They have a lot of Clinique. They have Estee Lauder and they have Mac. That's like the big, big ones. And then Too Faced. And then what else have I seen? Origins, Smashbox. Those are the main ones that I've seen, but there's also different locations that may carry different stuff. So you never know what you're gonna find. I feel like I lucked up, so we are gonna get straight into it. To start, I picked up this Origins three-part Harmony Soft Cream for Renewal, Repair, and Radiance. This is just basically a moisturizer by the brand Origins. And it says that it's lightweight, nourishing, hydration made in, oh no, made with Tazita Lily Bulb, no idea, renews hydration levels on contact while helping restore skin's natural protective moisture barrier. More youthful looking radiance is revealed. Fine dry lines are visibly softened. Hello, let's go. The guy was like, are you sure you only, went, only want one of these for 75% off? And I was like, no. But yeah, because you never know, it might break me out. I may not like it that much. So as much as I am a hoarder of things I can get on sale, if I've never tried it, I'm not gonna do that. So it was hard, but I said no. This is what the packaging looks like. It has this like wood grain kind of top, which I think is cute. And then it's this glass bottle. So we're not gonna open that right now, but definitely looking forward to see if it can help because when these forehead lines start going, it's usually because something I put on is really drying me out. Or I've noticed if I have a foundation on or something that doesn't set well, a concealer, whatever, my lines will be worse. So I'm always looking to hydrate, but also want to help on anti-aging. The next thing I picked up is this Tom Ford Mandarino D'Amalfi. This is a body spray. This is not a perfume. I don't know, for some reason, I think they had the perfume too. And when I smelled it, I didn't like it as much. Maybe it was too strong. Maybe it needed to dry down. I don't know. But I liked how this smells. And I don't have any Tom Ford fragrances. Maybe they're just too strong for me. Like after wearing something for a while, the smell kind of changes. So maybe I just need to give it more of a chance. But I guess this is a good way to kind of break me in. This is what the bottle looks like. This was, I think, 70 something dollars and it was 50% off. So not bad, but yeah, I love the way this smells. It's clean. It's a little floral, a little citrusy because it says Mandarin. But I just feel like it would be a good like 
everyday kind of spray not necessarily special occasion i personally when i'm going to the gym i will spray a little tiny bit of like a off brand knockoff designer body spray just because I, I don't like stinking i don't care i don't make it overpowering but just if i catch a whiff of something i don't want it to be funk so i'll probably wear it for that or just like day day to day running errands the next let me get all these together the next three things that i picked up these are all tom ford i picked up two more quads and i was able to find one of their face palettes this is the skin illuminating powder duo in the shade 06 flicker it's same packaging as the eyeshadow quads which i'm not mad at i just have to make sure i put it where it goes in my drawers but this is what it looks like and i love i didn't think these were gonna run that deep not sure about that gold oh i don't want to swatch i'll swatch a little bit off to the side because i normally don't like like super Ooh, that is pretty that's the bronzer that is the highlighter i'm gonna shut my mouth talking crap about not sure what i'm gonna like because baby that is going to be beautiful this kind of reminds me of my beauty bakery I forgot the name of the palette, but I have a face palette that has a bronzer that has a sheen like that. And I, it's almost like the same color. And then that gold, it's a little more yellow gold than what I normally like. But that is going to be a beautiful highlighter. The next quad that I picked up, both of these were on my list of ones I wanted to get. The first one is Honeymoon. Honeymoon is what I thought the Leopard Sun palette. Well, I don't know. I guess not. I don't know why I thought this was a little more brown, but I mean, look at these colors. Like I thought Leopard Sun was going to be this dark and it's not. And it's more orange versus this one, as you can see, is more berry toned and it has the gold and the bronze. So I'm glad I picked this one up. These like this palette you could wear every day and it would be gorgeous. Absolutely love these colors. So glad I found it. The next quad I picked up, I was kind of on the fence about this one because I thought the shades were going to be super light, but there's one shade that I was just dying for. So I was happy to find it on sale because I would not have wanted to pay full price for this. This is the quad Pretty Baby. I feel like I really just bought <laughs> this. I bought this for this shade down here. It is a multi-chrome and i just it is absolutely gorgeous it's like a purple brown blue oh i wasn't gonna swatch any of these oh that is so gorgeous i'm gonna swatch that in the purple yeah see this is like a cool toned lilac and then this shade right here look at that that is why i bought this palette oh that is so pretty Okay, so that's the lilac color there. And then between the other two shades right here is that multi-chrome. So I like this shade too. I ain't even going to lie. I was so happy that I found this one. And I thought it was just going to be... Let me go ahead and swatch this brown. I thought it was just going to be like... Ooh, that's dark. I thought it was going to be too light. But now seeing it in person, this, I think, may end up being one of my favorite quads. I'm not even going to lie. That's the brown right there. Let me, let me know if you guys want to see a ranking video of my quads because since I have been able to find them at this store, I've been able to collect quite a few. I don't have all of them. I was not going to just buy them to say I had them in my collection. I bought the ones that I was genuinely interested in. But if you guys want to see them, let me know and I will do a video on that. Another Tom Ford product that I picked up, honestly, just because just because it's Tom Ford, it's in the store, it's a discount. This is the Tom Ford Brow Pomade in the shade 04 Espresso. I didn't even know he had brow products. This, when I first looked at it, I was like, that is not an espresso. Why is that so light? That is not going to be my shade. Luckily, they had testers out. So when I looked at it, once you get past the initial top coat, I guess, or whatever, it is a lot darker than this. So I think part of the, another reason why I was thinking about I picked this up is because I have a video I want to film and it is my most expensive face where I use all of the most expensive products in my collection to do a full face of makeup. 
I'm doing it just for fun because as I've shown you guys, you can get a beautiful full face glam, neutral, whatever you want from using drugstore stuff. But at the same time, I love high end products too. So I just thought it would be fun and now I can include this. That's it for the Tom Ford. The next thing that I picked up is this MAC Extra Dimension Eyeshadow. This is in Ready to Party. It is a single and it looks like it is white in the packaging, but you can see through the packaging that it is a multi-chrome shade. Y'all know how I've been on my multi-chrome kick. So when you open this, you can kind of see, yeah, you can see that. Like the different shifts in it, it goes a little pink, it goes a little blue, a little purple, all the stuff that I love. I'll go ahead and swatch it. So it looks just white on my finger, but I know as soon as I shear this out a little bit, yeah. So there you can see, it's not just a white, it is very shiny, very foiled and it's like a pink purple i don't know how to explain it but i love shades like that especially on the inner corner so i think that is gonna look gorgeous Ooh, maybe with that tom ford i don't know so we will see staying on eyeshadows i have two more palettes this first one i was kind of surprised to see it this is the bobby brown autumn avenue eyeshadow palette when y'all see what this looks like Packaging is super cute. Love the holographic, but when you see what it looks like, you will know why I picked it up. I know it looks a little basic, but it's olive, it's brown, and I was kind of thinking this would be cute for travel. I love how deep this shade is on the end, and I don't have any Bobbi Brown eyeshadows. So I was pretty curious about the formula. These are the three shades on the end. So that's the darkest shade. And then these are the two shimmer shades. And then the other two are mattes, more just like a lid and a transition shade. But it's the perfect little, oh, those colors run pretty dark. I just, y'all know me and my greens. And I thought that this would be really good. I can put in my travel bag or just if I wanna do a green, I know me, if I have a palette <laughs> that has a lot of shades in it, I will get so distracted and I won't know what to do and I'll play in my shadows a lot longer. So a lot of times I will steer away from my bigger palettes until I have time to sit down and play in them. And some of my bigger palettes have some of the most beautiful shades in them. So I just thought this would be a cute addition to my smaller size palettes. I can travel with it or do faster looks with the colors that I love. This last palette that I picked up is something that I picked up just kind of on a whim. This is the MAC Basic Bitch Palette. I picked it up because it's cool tone and because I feel like I haven't really given MAC shadows a chance in a while. I love the shades in here and I love the dimension. I love that it's very dark so I don't have to worry about if I'm going to have a shade that matches. I love this shade right here for a little bit of a pop of color, but it's a maroon. And then this, it's a gray, but it almost looks like it kind of has a slightly maroon base to it. I don't know if you guys, if that's picking up. And then this is a highlighter. So I'm going to swatch the highlighter shade for you guys. I'm going to swatch that gray that I said I think has a little bit of a maroon base. And then... I didn't realize this also looks like a multi-chrome. This shade here, I don't know if you guys can see that shift in it. It's so hard to tell these on camera, but I'll swatch that one as well. So this is the highlighter shade. That is a pretty highlight. It looks super white in the pan, but that's the kind of highlight that I like. That gray is gorgeous. And then that multi-chrome, I don't know what that shade is. It's cool looking though. That's the highlighter, that's that gray, that is so pigmented. And you can kind of see the base in there that I mean, it's just a little bit of a reddish base to it. I don't know, but it goes perfect with this palette. And then this is that, I don't know, it almost looks green, like a green gray, and maybe has a little bit of a shift to it. But gorgeous palette, and it's very basic. It is what it says it is, and I thought it would be cute to add to 
my cool tone collection. I also picked up a few, <laughs> some foundations. The first one that I picked up, this is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation in SPF 25. This is in the shade CN116 Spice. If y'all saw in my foundation declutter, you saw that I normally pick 114 golden or whatever it is. This one is going to be a little dark. We can already see that. But because it says that it's a serum foundation, I was thinking that it's going to be a little sheer. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. It's going to be a little sheer, so it would give me some color. It's dark. I think I also picked this shade because it might have been the only one that they had. This is a lot more coverage than I thought it was going to be. That's not a bad shade. It is a little dark but this is the kind of shade that I like. It is gonna dry down darker. I can already see it around the edges. Doesn't have a smell. It does have sunscreen in it. And I wonder if this one has an expiration date. I don't see one on here, but I love shades like this because once I put my concealer and my powder and everything, it ends up looking really good. So I'm happy with that. Even though it's a little dark, I know I can make it work. The next foundation that I picked up, this is the Too Faced Tutti Fruity Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation, infused with juicy watermelon and fresh cucumber. I never would have picked this up before with my dry skin, but now I get to try a bunch of new stuff and it's kind of like a catch 22. I'm excited about it, but at the same time, it's making me, making me, it's encouraging me to buy more stuff, spend more money. So this comes with a little pump. And like I said, I had never tried this before. It was never even on my radar. This is in the shade Mocha, which is also the shade. And I have, I have the Too Faced Matte and the Too Faced, oh, whatever it's called. I'm looking at the bottle. Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I have Mocha in both of those. This... I feel like this shade is a little smidge too light for me, but I can make this shade work. Oh, you smell. I smell. You smell. It kind of smells like watermelon, but it's an artificial smell. But it says that it's full coverage. It says that it's hydrating. So even though it's a little lighter than what I normally wear, I can make this work when I'm not dark, which is right now. So you guys will see this in a video soon. I know it's not a new foundation, but it's new for me with this different skin type. And I was really excited to find my shade in it. I also picked up the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. This is their Skin Foundation Stick. It says our iconic foundation stick is formulated to blend seamlessly with all skin tones for a natural looking finish. Ideal for spot or all over coverage. Dermatologist tested. This of course is a stick foundation. I don't have a lot of stick foundations. This is in the shade neutral walnut. This is what it looks like. It honestly looks like it's going to be more along the lines of the Clinique shade. So I'm just going to swatch this. Y'all, I swear to God, I'm so much darker in my head than I think I, than I really am. That's what the shade looks like right there. <laughs> uh, I don't think they had a lighter shade though. Or maybe they did, but it was like really light. So I was like, if you go dark, once you conceal, it'll be fine. I know that this is gonna work eventually. It's just not my shade for right now, but I'm curious about the finish and the formula. So I will let you guys know how that works out, but clearly the shade is a little dark. Last for foundation, we have the Too Faced Born This Way Oil-Free Multi-Use Complexion Powder. You guys don't really see me use a lot of foundations, like powder foundations, mainly because my foundations are normally so full coverage and I don't want to make my skin dry, but I've kind of been wanting to venture back into just using powder foundation or using like a hydrating, illuminating primer or like a, what you call that? 
I can't think right now. I'm too excited. Tinted moisturizer or something like that, and then go over it with a powder. So I picked this one up. This is in the shade Spiced Rum. Why does that look like that could be a bronzer on me? I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. I think this will be okay. Now that all these other foundations are drying down. So I rubbed out the Bobbi Brown. That's what it looks like. It's not going to be as dark as it looks once it's spread out. This is the, which one is this? Clinique right here. And then this down here is the Too Faced. So that mocha, when it starts drying down, is actually a good shade for me. But I'm going to go ahead and swatch the powder. I don't know if you guys can even see that. The powder is right here. So it's a little dark, but if I put that with the Too Faced Mocha, I think it'll be a really good blend to kind of even everything out since the Mocha Liquid Foundation is a little light. We are getting to the end. I did pick up two lip products. The first one is the Too Faced Melted Matte Limited Edition Pumpkin Spice. This is their matte longwear lipstick. I picked this one up. Y'all, I just, I love like orangey terracotta neutrals. I think this is the one that I was thinking was the other gingerbread girl. So this one, as you can see, is a little more neutral. It still has a little bit of red in it. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Ooh, I like that. I don't know if I have anything else. Definitely smells like gingerbread spice. That's the shade right there. That is a very different color from what I have in my collection. It's a, it almost looks kind of pinkish. I don't know if that's picking up on camera. It's not 100% red, but I like how that looks a lot. I think that is going to be very pretty for the spring. Even though it says it's a fall pumpkin spice color, I'm going to like that for the spring. The other lippy I picked up is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. This is what the box looks like. I don't hear anybody talk about these anymore. I feel like they came out and everybody was excited about them. And then people started complaining because they dried out really fast. So I don't know. This is in the shade Yes Honey. This is what it looks like. And right now it's looking very similar to what I just picked up. So I'm going to swatch them next to each other. It's a little bit lighter. <laughs> they are very similar. Just a little bit lighter. So that's it right there. That's the Too Faced. That's the Smashbox. So I don't know how these are going to dry down, if they're going to be super drying, but I will prime my lips really well, put a lip oil on, put a gloss on top, and we will be good. But these are pretty, and they don't look like what I already have. I don't buy a lot of lipsticks because I tend to wear a lot of the same shades and... I just, I never really think about it, but now getting into YouTube and doing all these different looks, I want to make sure I can switch it up and also have stuff that actually matches with the looks that I'm doing. So excited to have two new products that look different from what I already have. And then last but not least, I picked up a fragrance. I don't know what it is about Michael Kors fragrances, but I feel like every single one of them that I have smelled... I've never been disappointed. This one is called Sexy Ruby. Of course, there's no notes or anything like that. This was on sale. I ended up paying $20 for this. It was 75% off for this big bottle. And then there was also another discount of like $14. I don't know why. I ain't mad at it. I don't ask questions. When they tell me something is going to be cheaper than what I thought, I just say thank you and I put it in the bag. I'm going to look this one up real quick and tell you the notes on it. The notes on this one, it says it is a fruity fragrance. What is this word? C-H-Y-P-R-E? I have no idea. Cypher? Cypher? No, I'm not about to clown myself. Top notes are raspberry and apricot. Middle notes are rose petals and jasmine. Base note is cashmere wood. I love warm florals, so for this to have fruity, you know, hints to it, I'm good with that. But this is sounds like, it doesn't say warm floral, but based on reading it, 
that's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't say if it's a warm floral or not, but that's what it sounds like. That's what it smells like. And I was very surprised that I like this as much as I do. I think this is going to be gorgeous in my makeup room. Yeah, I love this. This kind of, you know, I feel like this might smell like Giorgio Armani C and I love that perfume. I wish I had it with next to me, but I've packed all that stuff up so I can't tell you. But yeah, I love this. If you love any fragrances that I've named before that are my favorites, you're going to love it. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Yes, another haul. And honestly, guys, we're getting to the end of them because I'm getting a little overwhelmed. I don't know when I'm going to try all this stuff. I want you guys to see it. I want you to know how it worked out. Plus, I need to try it to see if I need to bring it back because it's not a good match or I don't like it or whatever. I'm not about that life where I buy something and end up just keeping it because, oh, well, I bought it and now I'm stuck. We're not doing that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you have not tried a cosmetics company store and you are a makeup lover, Google, find out where they are in your area and go check it out because the amount of money you will save makes it so worth it, even if it's a little bit of a drive. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and let me know below what you guys want to see first. I love hearing from you and I always try to give you guys what you're asking for. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button and join the family and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.